Hey guys, it's Mr. Schmidt here, and in this video, we're going to continue looking at aggregate supply and demand by now looking at short run aggregate supply. And so, one of the things that makes aggregate supply a little trickier than aggregate demand is that there are actually two aggregate supply curves. There's short run aggregate supply, which we'll look at in this video, and long run aggregate supply, which we'll look in the next video. We can abbreviate short run aggregate supply as SRAS, or sometimes you will see it just as AS for aggregate supply. They mean the same thing. So it's the amount of goods and services, real GDP, that firms are willing and able to produce in the short run at different price levels. So it's all about production. All the firms in the economy, what are they producing at wherever the price level happens to be in the short run, that is short run aggregate supply. And I think when we bring in long run aggregate supply in the next video, you'll get the best understanding of the difference between short run and long run in terms of aggregate supply. But let's keep going uh, by going ahead and drawing the short run aggregate supply curve. So the labels on the graph are going to be just like they were with aggregate demand. We have Y here for uh, real GDP, and we have PL here for the price level. And just like the market supply curve for one good or service, short run aggregate supply is going to be an upward sloping curve. So we immediately can see a relationship between the price level and real GDP supplied based on how we've drawn the curve. So if the price level increases, of course, that means there is inflation and real GDP supplied increases in the short run. And again, that's important in the short run, which implies the long run is going to be different. If the price level decreases, there is deflation and real GDP supply decreases in the short run. So again, just kind of restating that relationship that we modeled just a second ago on the graph. But the last thing I want to do in this video is explain that relationship. Why is it that when the price level increases, so too does real GDP supply? Why does that relationship exist? And we can't just simply restate it like we did with the law of supply for market supply, because again, this is a different curve. This is for the whole economy, not just for one good or service. So we need something that's called the sticky wage or sticky resource theory. So I'm going to read it to you here, and then I'm going to do my best to explain it in detail. So SRAS is upward sloping because wages and other resource prices are sticky in the short run. And so sticky here, we'll go ahead and break that down. That means slow to adjust. That is what sticky means. And will not change as fast as the prices of goods and services. This encourages firms to produce more output when the price level increases since the price of their product will increase by a greater percentage than the price of their resources. So for example, let's say there's inflation, okay? And let's say I sell apples, okay? Let's say because of inflation, all prices in the economy are going to be increasing, right? But because of the sticky wage theory, what happens here is say, the price of my apples, I can now get a 10% higher price for my apples. So I can sell them for 10% more than I was before. But because of the sticky wage theory, wages and resource prices don't increase as much as the price of goods and services. So for example, the cost of my labor, right, my workers, maybe that only increases by 5%, right? Maybe the total cost of all of my resources only increases by 5%. And so what happens here is, remember, profit from micro is total revenue minus total cost. So my total revenue is increasing by 10%, but my total cost is only increasing by 5%. 
And that means that my profit actually increases by the difference, 5%. And so you can see why if there's inflation in the short run, firms want to produce more because they can increase their profits. Why? Because total cost isn't increasing as fast as total revenue because of the sticky, slow to adjust nature of resource prices in the short run. That explains why short run aggregate supply is upward sloping. More inflation, revenues are gonna increase faster than costs because the price of my product, what I'm selling, is increasing faster than the cost of the resources, the price of the resources used to make that product. This is something that AP does sometimes have students explain. It's something that AP definitely has students from time to time look at in a multiple choice question. So we need to make sure we understand this theory because we're actually going to need it again when we look at long run aggregate supply in the next video. But that's all for this video on short run aggregate supply. Until next time, have a great day.